only in the uh, comfort, Oxford and uh, UK. And, uh, oh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. I, actually, if I'm there, it's because uh, uh, of your call. You have asked me to come. As you know, in Vanuatu, we are very busy at the moment. There is so many motion of non-confidence. We have instability in politics. But rather to stay in my country, I decided to come because I think uh, your, your battle is uh, very important for me. And this is why I'm here today. And I'm glad to be in the uh, United Kingdom. And it's my fourth time here. And uh, yes, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, th uh, thank you, uh, uh, Honorable uh, Moana. And I understand that it's, uh, it's not easy as a member of the uh, uh, MP living in the country just for cause of West Papua, but it's uh, indicate that your dedication, your the commitment to support for West Papua and my just cause have been uh, shows in this respect. And we know that uh, Honorable Moana is not a new uh, friend, but have been uh, for a long time friend as a minister. Uh, what have you done before as a minister of foreign affairs regarding what's one issue with the Indonesian government? Well, as you recall, uh, Vanuatu was invited to visit uh, Indonesia. And I wanted to see my prime minister. At the time, it was prime minister Natape. And, uh, and asked him uh, what I should do. He said, what do you think? I said, I think we should go there. But before we go there, we should contact, make contact with the office of uh, West Papua in Vanuatu and ask them, what they want us to raise in uh, in uh, Indonesia, and this is what we have done. We contacted you, remember? Yes, yes, I do. And uh, we've asked you, what do you want us to raise when I will be personally in Indonesia? And you tell us, and uh, that that's what raised in Indonesia. And unfortunately, as you know, in politics in Vanuatu, every five minutes government change, and yes. the government change at that time. And it was another government. Yes. However. I raised this issue with uh, the president uh, Sokrano Krutri. Sokrano Krutri, yes. yes. And um, the point was raised directly to her, and uh, she said that she would answer. But about two months after, we were not in the government anymore. Exactly, election. exactly. I understand that uh, during your chairman, I do have a chairman of the opposition in one of the parliament. Uh, we, we uh, the opposition would like to uh, pass the uh, resolution on West Papua as a basis for uh, uh, as a ways in the process of become a bill of parliament of Vanuatu. And uh, uh, why it was an, uh, unsuccessful? Uh, do you think in the future we can uh, working on that so that the uh, issue of West Papua become a bill of parliament of Vanuatu? Yeah, when I uh, was leader of the opposition, we have uh, put a motion in Parliament, but unfortunately uh, we didn't have uh, enough time to negotiate that with the government, and we redo the motion. But if you remember, uh, I've uh, put another motion uh, when uh, the rise, what you call, uh, the celebration of uh, the flight, yeah. your flight, yes, yes. and uh, we have, uh, with the Prime Minister, for the motion and uh, together we have raised a minute silence for all the people uh, of West Papua that was killed and everything in Parliament in Vanuatu. So that shows that with good commitment, with a lot of what you call awareness, we can have things happen. And I'm sure today we can raise that with the new government because everyone in Vanuatu, whether you are a politician, whether you are a chief, whether you are a grassroots, everyone in Vanuatu support West Papua freedom. I didn't see anyone in Vanuatu not supportive of that. Yes. Oh yes, yeah, I um, really enjoy that uh, privilege that we provided by Vanuatu people and government. Having uh, we have an office, West Papua, the office in Vanuatu, as a secretariat of the uh, National Coalition for West Papua, and this has been recognized by a government as uh, on the, uh, uh, the channel, only challenge to address uh, the information from uh, West Papua to into the government of uh, uh, Vanuatu. Um, in the last, uh, uh, during before the summit, our West Papua delegation was arrived, arrived in the Vanuatu and uh, invited the uh, parliament to visit the parliament and yourself as a one of the uh, main speakers, as a member of our opposition leader, uh, raised the issue of West Papua. 
and a call for West Papua should be given uh, a granting of safe status of the MSG. Uh, do you like to elaborate these points, please? Yes. Uh, as I recall, you were at, uh, all of you were at the uh, chamber at that time. Yes. Yeah, we, I did raise uh, that uh, because about some time the MSG was uh, secretariat was open in Vanuatu. I raised the issues, saying that you should have a special statute with the, uh, what you call, uh, spe MAG, spirit group. Not only MAG, and the forum too. Yeah. Because uh, when you speak about MAG, automatically you speak about the forum. Yeah. Uh, at that time, the Prime Minister, because he's the, uh, the what you call, uh, head of the government, yeah. and of course, opening the Secretariat, wanted to consult with his, uh, with his partner, I mean, Papua New Guinea and things like this. Unfortunately, as, as you recall, at the opening I was not there. Yeah. Because if I was there, when Sir Michael Somari raised the issue of not wanting the West Papua to be part of MAG, I will then wake up and say, how, how the heck you can say that against your brother? They are Melanesian. Yeah. How can you say that? Not supporting of them. Unfortunately, I was not there. I was in China. Yeah. But I can say, yes, I raised that in Parliament and I will continue to raise that now and tomorrow and after tomorrow because West Papua deserve support and I'm there to support them and all the people of Vanuatu support them. But we, have to, we need today to go a step further. Support is good but Vanuatu now has to raise that. I mean we have raised that in the UN many times but we need to pursue the issue more further and I think it's time now to event what you call SU uh, through La Hague the, uh, the government of justice. Court of Justice, yes, we have to do that. Yeah. We need to sue them, we need to find a way to sue the uh, UN and also what you call the Dutch government yes. for what happened at that time. Yeah. Um, now we come here to launch the International Parliamentary Group of West Papua. Uh, what would like to say to uh, uh, International, Court of Justice, International uh, Parliamentary Group of West Papua during the launch today? Well, first of all, I will uh, explain how Vanuatu is supportive of freedom of West Papua. Historically, since the, our independence, Father Walter Lini was supportive of that, and many leaders like Serge Wo are supportive of that. We have Mr. Barak Tami Sope, supportive of that. Recently, our President, uh, Honorable uh, Matas Kelekele, raised that in UN uh, in many of his meetings. So, I want them to know that Vanuatu is supportive of the freedom of West Papua, whether we are in the politics, whether it is the chiefs, whether it's grassroots, every one of us, any citizen has supported that. That's one thing I would like to raise. The second thing I would like to raise is we have to go a step further. Yeah. That means we need to now pursue the issue legally yeah. and we need to go to a court of law and I think La Hague is the proper one yeah. and we need Vanuatu need to sue the Dutch government, the Holland government and the uh, UN regarding uh, uh, what you call so called free choice. Exactly. And then pursue the issues. Now, to do that, we will need finance. And of course, Vanuatu is not a rich country, but Vanuatu is ready to pursue the issue in front. Yeah. We, need, we will need the support, as much support we can to do that. Okay. Uh, thank you. It's uh, really uh, very important key issues that we raised here. And I hope that uh, this meeting, uh, it, uh, this. Uh, uh, this uh, today the London will encourage us more uh, people, a member of the parliament from uh, around the world, particularly of Vanuatu. And I'm sure that uh, this will be also uh, when we go back home to Vanuatu. Would you like to form a special parliamentary group for West Papua in the parliament? Absolutely. Actually, I will uh, in the next parliament, we're going to have our ordinary session uh, in November. I will raise a motion again to ask the government to be supportive to put a commission in place yeah. so that as this commission can discuss these issues and have everyone, I'm sure the government will be in support of that. Yeah. Uh, we need to put a commission in place, we need to have a parliamentary men raising the issue every day yeah. and so that uh, we can send our foreign minister yeah. to uh, what you call pursue the issue further. I'm today, yes. Uh, thank you, uh, Honorable uh, Mona. Rakasas is is um, uh, uh, chairman of the uh, Green Confederation of uh, Vanuatu political parties, and he is a long supporter for our. And uh, we are very glad to hear your voice. Uh,
Just another point further. I'm not in support of the government of the day because our policy is always is very different. However, however, if I need to join the government just to pursue this issue, I will do that. Just to pursue the issues. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thanks.